Hello viewers, let's see how to create a table in Microsoft Access. First, we'll create a database and then a table. When you open Microsoft Access, you see different options. If you want to create a new database, click on blank database. And if you want to work with the existing sample databases, then there are several templates available which you can modify according to your requirements or you can get ideas from. I'll start with blank database. It's asking me to choose a name for database. Students information would be the name of my newly created database. This is the path where this database is going to be stored. If you want to change the path, just click on this icon and choose the location or path where you want to store your database. Click on create. Let's have a look at the interface of MS Access. This is the menu bar where different tabs are available like home, create, external data, etc. When we click a tab, a collection of tools is appeared and this collection is called a ribbon. In a database, the information is stored in the form of tables. So a table is the main object of any database. One database can have many different tables and they can be linked as well. When we open a new database, you can see one table is automatically created. If you want to work with the same table, start working here or you can create a new table from the create menu by clicking on the table option. As we know, a table is a collection of rows and columns. The vertical lines, the vertical bars are called columns like it's a column and the horizontal lines are called records. Columns of a table are also known as fields. Now let's see how can we enter data into this table. It's not like Excel grid where you just click on the cell and enter data. There is a specific way to enter data in these tables. So let's see. There are two ways to view a table. You must be there in home tab. Click on this drop down menu and see. First view is data sheet view in which we are working right now. And the other view is design view. The design view is used when we are designing a table. And after designing a table according to our requirements, to put data in that table, we switch towards data sheet view. I am on the stage of designing a table, so I'll go to the design view. It's asking me to save the table, so I'll save it with student. Press OK. The name of table is changed from table 1 to student. There are three columns, field name. We write the column's name or the field name that we want to show in our table. The next type of information that we provide is data type. And the third column is description, which is an optional part. Let's start by entering the name of first column, student control number. To select the data type for this field name, click on this drop down menu. And there are several data types that you can choose from. If you want to enter text type data, then use short text. And if the text is long, longer than 255 characters, then use long text data type. And if you are working with numbers, then choose number data type and choose large numbers if you are working with larger numbers. Date and time data type is used to insert date and time. It restricts a field to receive only date and time type data. For example, if I choose date and time data type, then text or number type data cannot be entered in that particular field. This is the extended form of time and date data type. Then comes currency. If you are working with currency and you want to enter currency type data, then use currency data type. Similarly, if you want to generate unique numbers, then use auto number. It will automatically generate unique numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. No number will be repeated. In several situations, we have to choose between yes or no. Like are you disabled? Choose from yes or no. If you want to add an object like picture or other object, then you can use OLE object data type. Next is hyperlink. If you want to use a link that refers to another object, you can use this data type. For example, if you want to receive data in the form of URLs, then you can use hyperlink data type. Next is attachment. You can attach Excel spreadsheet, Microsoft Office document, 
or any other file. Next is calculated. If you want to use a formula or a function like we have used in Microsoft Excel, then you can use this data type. The last data type is lookup wizard. We'll use this data type in our lecture shortly. Let's start creating different fields in students table. Make sure you are in the design view, student, roll number, data type, auto number, next field, student, first name. So it's already selected at short text, create next field, student, last name. Again, short text, address. Now I'll choose long text date of birth the data type i'll select is date and time because date of birth should be written in proper format to understand it properly religion it can be short text next name of the teacher that teaches a particular student and it should be of short text data type when you select or highlight a particular field a list of attributes is shown with the default values and you can change these default values manually. For example, I don't want to allow 255 characters in this field. I just want to allow 30 characters to write teacher's name. Now click on save button and go to the data sheet view. These are the fields that we just created. To expand these columns or fields, you need to make this pointer. When this shape is made, then hold and drag mouse left button and release where you want to fit them the other way is when the shape of mouse pointer is like this press double click from mouse button it will fit the column automatically this way like this like this and this if you try to type something in this cell this cell won't allow to enter any type of data because data type of this field is auto number so you don't need to enter any data here as i enter data here the number one is auto generated kiran khan address let's expand this address field her address is lahore you can choose date from calendar by clicking on this calendar icon or you can manually type this date if you want to prompt data entry operator to choose religion from the given list, then you need to insert a combo box, a drop down arrow with a list of different religions from where a religion can be selected. Let's do it. Go to design view, select religion field, choose lookup wizard. I want the lookup wizard to get the values from another table or query. No, I will type in the values that I want. Press next, type values like Islam, Christian, Hindu or any other religion that you want to provide in the list. Next, I want to limit to the list. Now press finish. Save these changes and go to the data sheet view. This is a drop down menu from where a student can select different religions. For example, Islam and then teacher's name. I have entered three records. You can add as many records in the table as you want. This is how we create tables in Microsoft Access. In the next video, we'll learn how to create a form in MS Access. Thank you for watching. For more informative videos and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification for each new video.